Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon. This is Frame by Frame, and today I'd like to talk about Val Luton, who is the 1940s master of horror who worked for RKO. In the 1930s, Universal made a whole series of horror movies, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, Wolfman, but eventually these deteriorated into things like Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman in 1943, and then House of Frankenstein and House of Dracula, which was the last one in 1945, and then the genre collapsed in parody with Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein in 1948. But at the same time, RKO was looking for a way to get into the horror field, but they couldn't use any of these monsters that Universal had the copyright on. So they turned to Val Luton, who was a brilliant producer who had worked for David O. Selznick on Gone with the Wind, um, and asked him to create a small B horror unit RKO and make films on short budgets with short schedules with pre-sold titles. And after he left David O. Selznick, he went to RKO to the B unit and gathered around him a remarkable group of people, including Jacques Turner, the brilliant director, Robert Wise, who was just then beginning his career and had before cut Citizen Kane, Mark Robson, who also broke in as a director during this period, and made a series of fantastic films which had become classics and had been released as a box set. The Cat People in 1942, which was the first of these films which offered an alternative to the standard werewolf movies of the period. I Walked with a Zombie by Jacques Turner, which remains one of the most beautiful horror films of all time, particularly the zombie walk sequence. The Leopard Man, The Ghost Ship, and then The Body Snatcher, a fantastic adaptation of Robert Louis Stevenson's story. Isle of the Dead with Boris Karloff, which was a remarkable film they made under terribly difficult conditions. Uh, Karloff was uh, suffering from a very bad back injury and they had to halt production and pick it up again. And his last film for RKO, Bedlam. Summer pigs. Those I let wallow in their own filth. Summer tigers. These I cage. Luden offered an alternative to the universal boogeyman horror, and Boris Karloff once referred to Luton as the man who restored my soul to me by taking me out of the films which were very childish and into more adult horror films, and indeed Luton's films still hold up today. Uh, you can see them routinely on TCM, and they're absolute classics. Unfortunately, after 1946, when he made Bedlam at RKO, Luton's career went into steep decline. He worked at MGM briefly, and then he died of a heart attack in his 40s. But his films live on, and he offered an absolutely unique vision of the supernatural and the world of the unknown, which is something very different from what Universal was offering as standard movie monster fare. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.